everyone and welcome. My name is Melissa Armo and I am the Stock Swoosh. And today I wanted to talk a little bit about your current job or career, whatever it happens to be. And if you're not happy with it, it's the end of 2019. A lot of people think about New Year's resolutions, things they want to create. I've been discussing the idea of manifesting something new for yourself. Not, not a resolution, but just manifesting something different that you want for your life for 2020 and starting to do it now before it's even 2020. Anyways, I talked to so many people about trading and one of the common things is a lot of people are not happy with either the money that they're making or they just don't like their job at all and they want to quit their job and they want to trade full time. Going from a full-time job to becoming a professional trader, if in fact that's what you want to do, is a transition. It's a transition that at some point you will have to make. Well, it's great. You could say, well, I'm going to quit my job on a Monday and start trading full-time on a Tuesday and be immediately successful. That's not 100% realistic. Most people have to transition. I transitioned. So in other words, I started trading at the end, was it the end of, the end of 2008? And I transitioned, and I actually worked my mortgage job while I transitioned into becoming a trader. So it was a process. And at, during that time, I, you know, was developing my system. And I didn't know how long it was going to take me to develop the system that I have now. It took about three years. It's a lot easier for people, and I shorten the learning curve for people because people come and they learn my system and they can utilize my system and I help mentor people. And obviously I call the trades in the live room and on the options letter. So you have my assistance when you come to me as a student or you pay for the subscriptions and services when you come to me as a client. So it's easier so I can shorten the learning curve for you. However, that being said, it's still a transition for people. So if you really are serious about trading and you really want to make money in the market and you really are not happy with the money you're making now at your job and you, or you really just don't even like your job and you enjoy trading or you think this is something that you want to do, you have to start as soon as you can to begin the transition. I don't know how long it will take you. I know I do my best to shorten the curve for people because they come and learn from me, which is something that I didn't have the benefit of when I began, okay? Because really no one knows what I do about gaps and it didn't exist even, someone like me didn't exist for me uh, back, you know, in, in 2008, so 12 years ago. And, and you know what even now knows as much as I do about gaps. It's something that I've become very good at. It's something I'm an expert in. It's something that I probably always um, will be ahead of the curveball in because it's, it's, it's what I do is so unique. Um, and that's, you know, one reason to come and pay me for my course and to learn my system and method. But I will tell you that you need to understand that it is a transition. And the sooner, you, the longer you wait to make that transition, the longer it's going to be that you can achieve the goal that you want. So if you're thinking that 2020 is going to be your year where you're going to be a professional trader, you have to start the process now. Now, I have people that come to me and they just throw themselselves into it and they quit their job even though they've never made one dollar in the market. You know, you can do that if you want, but you better have a big nest egg to pay your bills if you're going to do that and just cut the cord like that. I think it makes it easier for people if you slowly transition, whether that's trading two days a week and working three days a week or, or doing options first, making money doing options while you're working full time to learn what's going on and see how I'm calling the trades and the gaps, do the class, do the options, and then move into day trading. Whatever you can do to make it easier for yourself to do the transition because it, it is a process. And that's what I need the people to understand. And I think it'll be a lot easier for you in the end and less stressful for you to learn something new, digest the information, focus on the knowledge, focus on the information of learning it, and the money will come. And I always tell people that when they come to me. So don't put off learning. Don't put off learning how to do something different. Don't put off changing career. Start the process now. And also that will help motivate you. It helps you get through the job that you don't like that you're doing. Like at the time that I started in 2008, I was still doing mortgages and I didn't like that career anymore. I wanted out. Uh, things were changing in the industry. And, and I was highly motivated, highly motivated to switch careers. So that helped me work hard to figure out the system and trade and it also made it easier for me to get through the difficult days that I had or difficult loans that I had doing mortgages back at that time because I, I saw on the horizon 
that that I was going to be out of that career and into a different career into the trading world. I didn't know exactly when, but I, I, I felt that the process was started for me. I was in the moment. I was doing it. And that helped motivate me to get to the next point. So don't wait. Don't wait too long. Don't wait. Don't stop making excuses for why you're not doing it. You're never going to get to the point probably where you have enough money that you can just quit and feel secure. Uh, you know, don't wait to your don't wait to that point. Don't wait till you retire. Start doing it now. Even if you're trading two days a week, like I said, even if you're doing the options, like I said, join the options newsletter. Start making money with the options. Do that while you can while you're working your other job. It will help keep you motivated. Hopefully, you will learn through the process and make money while you're doing it, and then eventually you can transition into a new career. Thanks, everyone, and have a very happy new year.